Let's go. Great news today. everybody how are y'all doing we have some dope 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 gaming news today but first before we get started with the news give the video a thumbs up like 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 now my shirt is soaked i was just outside washing all three of my vehicles washing cars and so let's get to the news so don't be like, man, everyone is drenched. He's sweating in this video. No, I'm not. All right, we have two, 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 two dope uh, news items. The first one is big. Coming from thegamer.com, <laughs> Sony has registered a new trademark for PlayStation Experience. For those of you that don't know, that is Sony's biggest event of the year in the past it's their big blowout new game reveals new hardware initiatives all that fun stuff so all the rumors of a july event are starting to really really heat up all right and so the article says the rumors of presentation uh, next month are getting stronger for a PlayStation presentation. A new trademark has been filed by Sony for PlayStation Experience amidst rumors of a presentation happening in early July. I think this is a good move for what Sony's did. Let Nintendo, let Xbox both have their trash presentations and then remind gamers what a real presentation should be be like i tell you man out of all the presentations the companies everything there's only two things that stood out to me metroid dread and halo multiplayer everything else cgi fluff no release dates coming um this year it was a waste in my opinion for the most part but sony their last big presentation was the ps5 event back june of last year if you go back and watch that presentation then watch these last E3 presentations. You'll be like, okay, that's what you're talking about, Obi-Wan. All right. So, the trademark was spotted by Tech Gamebox before being shared by Redditor Xfair, who posted their findings on... All right, all right. Within the post, they shared that the trademark application, while bringing attention to the previous rumors about a presentation early in July. The trademark itself looks legitimate and says that it is for PSX, that's the PlayStation Experience, which was the name used for PlayStation Experience and what is saying that the purpose is for organizing, promoting, and conducting exhibitions and conferences for commercial purposes. Other parts of the trademark drew attention to PSX being an entertainment service, namely live performance featuring video game playing and news. All right. So pretty much, it's PlayStation Experience. All right. For those having trouble remembering PlayStation Experience, there's probably a fair reaction considering the last one happened in 2017. So it's been a while since Sony has just done a PlayStation Experience. All right. It was a, uh, and it was pretty much a Sony E3 type show. So it looks like, according to this article, we should be getting a playstation big event in july and here's my thing let's just say sony doesn't have an event in july <laughs> we still good bro man they've been delivering on the games i just beat ratchet and clank last night on my gaming channel obi-wan plays gaming championship love the game from beginning to end the game did not disappoint fresh off of platinuming returnal Two Game of the Year contenders, in my opinion. Keena Bridge of Spirit coming out in August. Um, I still haven't even gotten the Final Fantasy Integrate, 7 Remake Integrate, the new DLC content. Haven't even gotten to that yet. 
Horizon Forbidden West could be coming out holiday 2021. Sony is delivering with what Nintendo and Xbox is promising. And so that's why they didn't go to E3. They didn't need to, bro. They're delivering on the games. And so um, PlayStation Experience should be lit. I hope it does happen because I want to see them fully reveal PlayStation VR. And who knows? They may have one or two surprises up their sleeves. I tweeted this out on Twitter yesterday. After beating Ratchet & Clank, phenomenal game. I was like, if there's a developer I would want to work on a PlayStation All-Star Battle Royale 2, it would be Insomniac Games. They're the GOATs right now, bro. They they knocked it out the park with Miles Morales and Ratchet and & Clank. All right, next news item. Cyberpunk is returning to the PlayStation Store with one big asterisk. All right, the game is returning on June 21st in two days. I, we all know when it launched, because of the performance issues, Sony was like, nah, bro, we can't have that game being promoted on our store. They took it off the store. But they just re um, released their latest patch, and those who have the physical version of the game are saying that the latest patch has made the city a ghost town. They were able to improve the performance at a big cost. Most of the pedestrians and background effects have been removed from the game. To where if you're driving through the street, and they're saying that it still isn't a smooth 30 even when you're still driving, but the pedest most of the pedestrians, uh, the people walking around have been removed and the game is now a ghost town. But the benefit is performance has increased. All right, so I'm still passing on Cyberpunk, bro. I never saw anything about this game like, man, this game looks lit, bro. This is about to be fire. The game just didn't never appeal to me, man. So Cyberpunk coming back to the PlayStation Store in two days. Let me know if you're picking it up. All right. Those are all the news items for today. I don't even have a bro on this, but I forgot to do a bro. Sound up in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, ha. Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Peace.